Enclosure closure of an animal rescue focused on caring for troubled dogs has left an already over capacity county shelter struggling to keep them alive. Yeah, the News 4 Tucson and investigators spent months investigating Lucy's hope and broke the story of its sudden closure earlier this month. News 4 Tucson's chief investigative reporter, Chorus Nylander, has learned that many of the dogs may need to be euthanized. Well, the closure of Lucy's Hope has left 21 dogs with behavioral issues and in some cases severe bite histories with an uncertain future. Pinal County Animal Control has stepped in to help, but with the given dangers of some of these dogs, they may have to resort to euthanizing some of them. Even though it sucks and we don't want to do it, we just can't take that kind of a risk. This week, Pinal County Animal Control picked up the final six dogs left at the now shuttered rescue Lucy's Hope after taking in 15 just two weeks ago. Director Audra Michael says of this latest group, two will likely need to be euthanized given their violent past and perhaps several others will as well as they continue reviewing their bite histories. I wouldn't be able to rest or sleep knowing that, you know, we let a dog go that had severe behavior issues. It's not a mission they asked for or had to take on. Lucy's Hope suddenly closed down at the beginning of the month. In a Facebook post, it stated it was due to the challenges of operating a behavior rescue and unforeseen circumstances. In the same post, it stated that despite rumors and what it calls misleading information from troubled individuals, it is not planning on performing math euthanasia of its beloved dogs. Michael says she told owner Ben Garagoslo up front that they may need to euthanize all of them. Since taking the dog, she says she has never heard from him again. She feels they have been left to do the dirty work. Doing a rescue sounds like it's a good idea, but it is really a lot of work, a lot of money. You have to know what you're doing. The News for Tucson investigators did multiple reports on Lucy's Hope last year after questions were raised about its attempt to adopt out a poodle with a history of severe bites. After our investigation, they decided not to adopt out the dog. At this point, I wouldn't consider him adoptable. Michael says she was shocked by support from many other rescues that stepped in to take some of the dogs off their hands. They've been fantastic, and we're really grateful that, that they weren't just saying they were going to come out and help with the dogs, but they actually have done it. Rescues like Alone No More out of Phoenix. Founder Jennifer Bryan is well aware of Lucy's Hope. She says they work with the same types of troubled dogs but she's had concerns about Lucy's hope for some time. We're hands-on with our dogs every single day. Our dogs went to homes. Our dogs moved on and are in loving, amazing homes. His didn't. She has taken in three of the Lucy's Hope dogs. She hopes to rehome them, but doesn't shy away from the fact they may need to be euthanized. She believes some of the 21 dogs perhaps should have been euthanized much sooner. He kept a lot of these dogs alive to suffer more. There's worse fates than death. Well, you may be wondering how you can help these dogs. Maybe you're inclined to adopt one of them. It's not that easy. Audra Michael with Pinal County Animal Control says that given the potential risks with these dogs, they won't just give them out to anybody. There's a pretty thorough process to make sure that you'll be safe and that these dogs don't pose any risk to the public. Reporting from downtown Tucson, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson. And if you do feel like you are in the position to adopt one of these dogs, we have information on who you should contact over on our website, kvoa.com. Again, there are several considerations they're going to have to make for your safety.